Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys the Argyle Robertson pupil in a very easy way. So let's get started. All right. So here are your two eyes and this is the visual pathway through both optic nerves, optic chiasm, and then optic radiations all the way to the visual cortex. All right. Now, also, we have here the midbrain. And in the midbrain, there is something called the aqueduct of Sylvius. Here, guys, we have the pretectal nucleus where the light reflex relays. And we have the edinger westphal nucleus of the third cranial nerve responsible for meiosis and convergence. So what happens is, let's try drawing the light reflex. Now, when I shine light into your eyes on this side, it's going to go all through the visual pathway, but will not continue to the visual cortex. It will stop and go directly to the pretectal nucleus on both sides. Now, when it relays in the pretectal nucleus, the pretectal nucleus will send fibers to both nuclei of the third cranial nerve, the edinger westphal nuclei, causing pupillary constriction. Now, as you can see here, guys, this area is very near the aqueduct of Sylvius. Now, this is very important to know because some conditions affect the light reflex without affecting accommodation. If you take a look at the accommodation reflex, on the other hand, you're going to see that if I put something near your eyes, so this is the trigger here and near object, what happens is that the visual pathway will go all the way through until the visual cortex and then it will go and relay in both nuclei of the third cranial nerve, the edinger westphal which causes pupillary constriction and convergence. And so if I have a lesion that affects the area around the aqueduct, it will only hit the pretectal nucleus and affect the light reflex while the accommodation reflex will remain unaffected or the near reflex. And so what happens is the person looks like this. You can see here that when I shine a light in this person's eyes, we do not have a response to or meiosis. We, not, we have no response by the pupils, no reaction. So absent pupillary reflex. However, if I put my finger on, towards this patient's nose, which is considered a near object, the convergence and meiosis, a pupillary constriction, occurs despite not happening with the light reflex. All right, I hope this helped.